Part 12, Simple Interest. You will find this on page 143 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Simple Interest. People always need money to be able to live. If they do not have it, they can borrow money, but this does not happen for free. There are costs involved in borrowing money. When a person invests money with a bank, he is lending his savings to the bank and the bank is prepared to pay him interest for the loan of his money. The money he invests is called the principal. Different places offer different amounts at different times, but they usually offer a percentage per year of the amount invested. It is called interest. Similarly, if a person borrows money from a bank, he must pay interest on the loan to the bank. For example, Jack wants to borrow a thousand Namibian dollar. The local bank says 10% interest, so to borrow a thousand Namibian dollar for one year will cost a thousand Namibian dollar multiplied 10% and that will give me a hundred Namibian dollar. In this example, the interest is a hundred Namibian dollar and the interest rate is 10%. People often say 10% interest without saying rate. Remember, Jack will have to pay back the original 1,000 Namibian dollar as well as the 100 Namibian dollar after one year. 200 Namibian dollar interest after two years, 300 Namibian dollar interest after three years, and so on. There are special words used when borrowing money as shown here. This is the loan, this is the lender, the bank, this is Jack, the borrower, this is the original thousand, so it's the principal. Now, after one year, the repayment. So, Jack must give back the thousand Namibian dollar as well as the hundred Namibian dollar interest. The annual per year payment of a hundred Namibian dollar is called simple interest. When interest is added to the principal, the result is called the amount. Thus, principal plus interest will give you the amount. So, a thousand Namibian dollar plus a hundred Namibian dollar interest will bring to an amount of one thousand one hundred Namibian dollar after one year. And after two years, I will add another one hundred Namibian dollar interest. So, after two years, the amount will be one thousand two hundred. The formula for simple interest is interest equals the principal, multiply the rate, multiply the time, divide 100. Why is it divide 100? Because that rate is 10%. And to make it a fraction, you say 10 over 100. So that 100 is representing the percent. Now, let's look at an example. Okay. Alex borrow $4,000 Namibian dollar for five years at 8% interest rate. How much interest does he, he have to pay Pay. So the interest is the principal, multiply the rate, multiply the time. So 4,000, multiply the 8%, multiply 5. And because that is percent, to make it a fraction, we divide by 100. And if you press that on your calculator, you will pay interest of 1,600. Okay, let's look at another example. Example 15. Ben borrowed 2,500 from Mr. Maton for three years at 15% simple interest per year. How much interest will Ben pay? What is the total amount he has to pay back after three years? So let's first find the interest. It's the principal, multiply the rate, multiply the time, divide by 100 due to that percent. So it's 2,500, multiply 15 over 100, make it a fraction, multiply 3. And the interest for that three years will be 1,125 Namibian dollar. And what will be the amount? It's the principal plus the interest. So it's that 2,500 plus the interest of 1,125. And that will bring me to an amount of 3,625 Namibian dollar. Okay. I want you to do try now 50 number 1 A and B. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try now 
15. Let's start with number A, number 1A. Olaf borrows 350 Namibian dollar from Mr. Kahorongu for two years at a rate of 7% simple interest per year. Number A. How much interest will Ben pay? Okay. So if I look at this, I think this must not be Ben. This must be Olaf. Okay. So basically, we are just going to do this one by saying, I'm going to find the interest. Let's just write down the formula. It's P times R times T over 100. And that will be the 350 times the 7%. And how many years? Two years. But if I simplify, and this is where the 100 comes now, it's 7 over 100, and then multiply 2. And if I press it on my calculator, I will get 49 Namibian dollar. And then if I come with number B, and I say, what is the total amount he has to pay back after two years? So remember, to find amount, it's the principal plus the interest. So the principal was the original amount, and that was 350. So plus that interest of 49, and that will bring me to an amount of 399. That is what he must pay back to Mr. Kaharungu. Okay, let's look at number 16. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. I borrow 4,500 at 16% per annum, simple interest for four months, not a year, but that is per year, and promise to repay the principal and the interest at the end of this period. Calculate the amount to be repaid. Now, express the months as a fraction of a year. So how many months in a year? 12. So four out of 12, which is a fraction of a third. Now I do exactly the same. I say the principal times the rate times that fraction of a year. And then I just press it in my calculator and I get 240. And then the amount to be repaid will be the principal plus the interest. So I just take the 4,500 plus the 240 and I will pay back 4,740 Namibian dollar. Okay, let's look at an example on the next page. I want you to do just number A. Try now 16, you can just do number A. I just want to see if number A, yes, there's three months. Okay. So let's start with number, it's try. Now 16, and we are just going to do number A. Okay. A person borrows 12,400 from a friend at 10% per annum. How much must he repay altogether at the end of three months? So... First, make the months, okay, so express the months as a fraction of a year. And that will be 3 over 12, there's 12 months in a year, and if you simplify it, that will be a quarter. So, still to find the interest, it's principal times the rate over time, and that 100 is due to the percentage. Now, what was that amount? It was 12,400, and what was the percentage? It was just 10%, and that it was just a quarter of a year. And if I was pr put it, so it's 12,400, Remember the 10, make it a fraction, put it at the percentage over here, and times a quarter. Okay, just press that on your calculator, and you will find, because it's such a so short period, 310 Namibian dollar. Okay, and now, if I want to find, remember, they are asking you, repay, how much must you repay at the end? That's the amount. that in. So the amount will be the principal 
plus the interest. So that will be that 12,400 plus the 310, and that will be equal to 12,710 Namibian dollar. And then we can end with a sentence because it's practical. Uh, we can say, he must repay, and then that amount, 12710 at the end of three months. Okay, and that's how we do simple interest.